Okay, set. Go! Good morning, class. Good morning. So, how many of y'all have rode on an elevator before? Oh, everyone's rode on an elevator. So, I see here that y'all only have one floor, so you really wouldn't need to take an elevator to y'all's classroom. But what if your what if your school was this big? Then you would all need to ride an elevator up, right? Yeah. So, so how how fast do you think an elevator goes? One more per second. Well, yeah, but what speed? Like if we could use a number to put in that floor per second, how fast do you think that would be? Three miles per hour. One mile per hour. What what if we could do it in meters per second? How fast do y'all think that would be? Three hundred meters per second. Three hundred meters a second? Oh my god. Three, <laughs> Three meters a second. Three meters a second? Anyone else? What about you, Timmy Tommy? How many meters a second? centimeters long. So we're going to let it go 
You have to let it start from it going all the way up. So we're going to have to let it get all the way up. I'm going to give you three of them. You're going to get a blue one, a red one, and a green one. So once it's all the way up, we're going to flip it over. And your partner's going to time how long it takes to reach the 25 meter or 25 centimeters. Once it does that, you're going to record it. Um, also record one for zero and one for 50. So how, how are we going to be able to tell when it reaches 50 centimeters if 50 centimeters is not on there? To the top. That's right. So once we reach it to the top, that'll be our 50 centimeters. I don't know where these are zero. Well, what do you think? How do you, how do you think it's going to be at zero centimeters? Well, I mean, I'm thinking if it's at the top, or you just said the top was at 50, so I don't know. So, so where do you think? If the top's at 50, so then what would be our zero centimeter? Stop it when you hit the bottom of the line. So as soon as it reaches the line, you're gonna stop the stopwatch. Yes. Uh, as soon as it hits the line. So as soon as it reaches. Can we have a different stopwatch? Can you use your phone? So, yeah, as soon as it hits your line, then that would be. Oh, jeez. <laughs>
your points together. So, um, did everyone, um, does everyone graph look like you thought it would, or 
Is there a variation into it or anything? <coughs> I know you had some question. What was your what was your concern with your graph? Uh, it doesn't connect the lines at all. It just goes straight through them. Um, <laughs> repeat. I don't know how else to explain. It doesn't connect to the dots. It goes straight through. Yeah, like I do the line and does fit, and it doesn't sync up my dots at all. I don't think so. I think if this is a line of those fit kind of it's Okay. What? How what about you? Did your um I expected them all to be closer together, like the times be similar, but our red one was way faster. Was everyone's red one faster? Or? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yep. Which one was the slowest? Green. Green. Blue. Green. Green. Blue. I got a question. Yes, sir. Why is the red faster? Why is the red faster? Why do you think the red's faster? I have no idea. No clue at all. Would you think it's? Do you think it's the same material inside of it? Or do you think it's a different material inside of it? You think it's a little different? So what what do you think will make it go faster through the different material? Maybe it needs to less like just the representing elevators, like the material in it, the people, the weight, maybe. I don't know. What about you? If the bubble sticks, I think it's the color. So you think the mm -hmm. color makes it go faster? Mm -hmm. Red travels faster than blue and green. What's the velocity? It's tricky. So how how can we use what we have here to grab a bigger graph? So let's see, our graphs went to 50 centimeters, but we wanted to do like 100 centimeters. How can we use our graphs to, to find out 100 centimeters? Karan said you could double it. What, what are you going to double? How can we so you <coughs> you double your time? You think that'll work? Because we, we double our time here and it didn't go. So, so you just got to have a big one. You couldn't use your graph. Does anyone think you could use your graph to do it? What do you think? Make a guess. Yeah, I think that if the graph was bigger, we would be able to. So just make a bigger graph. Mm -hmm. What's 100 points on that? Okay. Go the line that's good. Is no other way you think we could do it? Well, not our graph. We could calculate the speed between these two, right? And the speed is time over distance over time. Mm -hmm. And just see how long it takes to travel. And then just, you know, move the sticks up. Would you say centimeters, centimeters, centimeters? Mm -hmm. So just find the speed the distance with there. those two. And then the speed will tell you how far it travels and that much time. And then. <coughs> okay. Have you ever heard of. Can we use a formula? Can we just put in a wire <laughs> step to use a formula to do this? Like if we found the slope? Do you uh, think that would. You think that will find the distance a bit? Yeah. Because, um, well, I think that will find the time because X is X, X is time. Okay. So, what I have is one more handout. Work together and answer those.
Phantom.